The coach of that women's hockey team, Brian Adolski, is nice enough to join us in the coach's corner. We had to drag him out of Ralph Engelstead Arena and get him over here away from practice. Brian, thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Two of the top three teams in the country, correct? Uh, rankings come out again this afternoon, so we are third last week. We'll see what will happen. Five points over the weekend against uh, Bemidji, a shootout uh, win on Friday night and then the victory on Saturday night. Without your Olympians, with the exception of uh, uh, Eisenschmied, that makes it tough on your team to kind of get that chemistry thing going again, doesn't it? Well, I think anytime you're missing a couple players, uh, it takes a little bit for people to step up into some new roles, execute some of the new things that are expected of them. And uh, overall, I was happy with the weekend. I thought we did a nice job. Some kids stepped into some spots and made some plays for us. Were you playing some kids out of position? Were you playing some forwards back on D or the other way around? We had three uh, defensemen playing forward. <laughs> uh, second PP unit was, uh, you know, a little bit uh, different, but the biggest thing was the kill because uh, those players uh, played significant minutes in the penalty kill, so to get new people in, that was a little bit difficult for us off the hop. You know, you have Minnesota this weekend, but that's invaluable experience for those players in that situation coming into a big weekend like this one, isn't it? Well, it's one thing to get that experience in an exhibition game, which we tried to do coming into the year, but it's in a vastly different thing when you're playing, you know, some of the top teams and you're playing in WCHA. So. Uh, it's nice for them to get a couple games on their belt before we play a very talented Minnesota team. You enjoy playing Minnesota, don't you? Who wouldn't? It's a rivalry game. It's awesome. It's unbelievable. The atmosphere is great. The intensity is better. Uh, we seem to bring out the best in each other, and they've been uh, fun games to be a part of. So looking forward to a couple more. Brian, you hurt their feelings when you broke their 63-game winning streak. They're not going to be happy about that, I'm sure. I thought we were really polite about the whole thing, to be honest <laughs> with you. So we'll see what happens. I'm sure they're excited to come back and show that that was a fluke. We're excited to show that uh, we're a quality team that can play with them and so uh, should make for some high drama. The story certainly for a good portion of the season has been your goaltending. Uh, you've got two players there that have really uh, done a nice job when they've been given the opportunity and they continue to do so. Talk a little bit about uh, a young freshman that has earned some time and then you have a sophomore that continues to play well as well. It, it, it's a good story for your program. Yeah, it's, uh, it, it's nice. It's a healthy competition. Both of them, uh, you know, have confidence in themselves and uh, are supportive, but both want uh, to be the kid down the stretch. So uh, it's a nice situation to have and, uh, you know, it's, it's a luxury to have two quality kids that coaching staff has a lot of faith in. Like she Shaw's not, uh, well, she has some confidence, would you say? That's a little bit of Motown <laughs> flavor. When you grow up like we did, uh, if you're not complimenting yourself, no one else is. Generally, people are trying to tear you down a little bit. So, uh, you know what, it's uh, not uncommon for you to uh, say you're pretty good. It's not only a rivalry series with Minnesota, but it's also a fun series to play because they, they'll go up and down the ice with you, won't they? Uh, it's going to be a skating game. It's, uh, we both uh, try to play uh, a little bit of puck possession. We both want to get up and down the ice and skate. and uh, um, So I think that's a lot of fun. I think it's entertaining for the kids. They enjoy it, but I think the fans are the real winners in a game like that that's uh, pretty high end. And Friday night's uh, fill a bowl game. So uh, dollar tickets and commemorative pucks for the first thousand people in the door. It's going to be a lot of fun. The atmosphere should be supercharged for a game like that. I think probably the players really enjoy playing in an atmosphere like that. Absolutely, these are our memory games. You know, anytime you're in a rivalry, the crowd's good, the atmosphere's good. Uh, you know what, it's a lot of fun to compete in that. So we're looking forward to it. Brian, best of luck this weekend. Thanks for being here today, appreciate it. Thank you. Brian Adolski is the coach of the Indy women's hockey team against Minnesota this weekend.